back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on a WWE action figure toy hunt, I guess. Action figure hunt? Toy hunt? You guys get the deal. But today is also Thanksgiving, so huge, huge, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there watching the video. I'm super thankful for everybody that's watching this video. Uh, thankful for everybody that subscribed to the channel, watched the video, liked or disliked, commented, follows me on Instagram, whatever the case is, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support over the years. You guys mean absolutely the world to me, and I would not uh, be in this position to have this channel and everything like that without you guys. So, greatly appreciate you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. But today is Thanksgiving, but Big Lots is open. Big Lots is open, and they're doing this, like, really big Black Friday sale. You guys know the Friday after Thanksgiving, there's always a big Black Friday sale. They have a crazy sale going on right now that I saw last night that's 50% off all toys. There's no, like, buy one, get one. There's not any, like, thing like that, man. It is literally every single thing in the toy section is 50% off. I'm going to go over there, see if we can find some WWE Elites. Really excited. Hopefully we can find like some, maybe I can finally crack into those Royal Rumble Elites that I've been passing up on. Maybe they'll have some more, you know, two packs or or maybe some more fan takeover figures or maybe some good basics that I missed out on. You never quite know, so it's always good to check those areas. I really wish I had more than just one big lot, so that would have been really nice to see, but I only have one and it's actually right beside my house, so I'm going to go over there right now. We're going to find out what they have. Hopefully it will, you know, it'll pay off. We'll get some really good stuff and I'll just have to decide, you know, because I know that some of those top talents figures and stuff like that, they really rot on shelves sometimes. They may be cleared out. We may not find anything, but uh, also, you do, like, I don't want to just go crazy for no reason. I don't want to get anything unless I have a specific plan for it or the deal is just too good to pass up in that instance. So with all those things being said, man, let's go ahead, get in the vehicle, go over to Big Lots and see if we can find something worth a damn and enjoy this happy Thanksgiving. I'm starving, by the way. I still have not eaten my Thanksgiving food yet. Hopefully you guys have, but I'm starving, so hopefully we can get this thing knocked out and we can go grab some food. But thank you guys so very much. Let's get into the toy hunt. All right, guys, here we are at the Big Lots. We got some Royal Rumble Elites going on. We got Ultimate Warrior in the house, 22 bucks. It is 50% off, though. 50% off every single thing in the store, or at least the toys. Got Stone Cold Steve Austin, Royal Rumble gear, Umaga back there, Sarah Logan. Got some Titus O'Neil. Probably going to have to cash in on that. You know, you got you to gotta get that while they're hot. Got Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ultimate Warrior, Umaga again. So they have like two or three full sets here of the Royal Rumble Elites. I did not expect these to make it to Big Lots. You know, they're always getting like random exclusive figures for no reason. But what are you going to do? You know, I, I really don't know. You got Stone Cold again, Umaga, Titus O'Neil. Looks like they have like four Stone Cold Steve Austins, a couple Ultimate Warriors, maybe three. We got some top talents, Finn Balor back here. Probably won't buy these. These have been here for years and years. Probably multiple toy hunts. Like if you go back multiple toy hunts, those figures will be here but Finn Balor in the house wish those were cheaper than they are but you got some Braun Strowman in here not like a great basic wave I don't think I don't think I'll grab any basics here today you know Sarah Logan's not even in the company anymore I don't think says first time in the line believe it was last time in the line as well we have AJ Styles back here Lacey Evans still on the shelf let's walk over here I think I want to say they have some more stuff over here on the end cap we'll go ahead and take a look real quick uh, yeah. Look at this. Tons of Seth Rollins fan takeover. It looks like it says 20. Oh, my goodness, man. We have two or three of the Hardy pack right here. Yeah, we have three of them. Oh, dude. I, I, I think we have to cash in on that. We got to cash in on that. Some of these say $15, though. Look at the Seth Rollins. It says $15. And the Triple H and Jeff Hardy is 40 but that means it's going to be 20 And then 15 on the tag there. So... I don't know, man. You got some pretty good stuff going on right here. Fifteen dollars. I mean, that means it's going to be seven fifty. You got the twenty dollars price point, which would be ten. And the Royal Rumble elites, for some reason, are twenty-two dollars. So that means that they're going to be like eleven. And I mean, seven fifty for Seth Rollins. I feel like I got to cash in on that. They used to have WWE figures in this section, so I always check it before I leave. But damn, bro, what a snag! Well, guys, Jesus Christ. We asked if they had anything, and oh my god, wait till you see what I paid for this. You won't even believe it. Like, honestly, unbelievable deals right here. This is like some deals that I would have got back in like 2017, 2018 when I first started the channel. I used to find deals all the time. Then it like cooled down a little bit. Um, you guys know the thrift store story where I found like really good gems. And then I, uh, I've been back a million times since finding those gems. And... Nothing. So let's dive into what we got, man. Starting out first, you guys saw what they had. They had three of the Triple H Jeff Hardy 2-pack, 
and I paid $40 for these. Um, I think I bought one of them not too long ago, like maybe a couple months back on our toy hunt, but they had three of them and they're $20 a piece. I got two of them. So it's basically like a two for one deal, right? I'm just kidding, I got three of them! Ah! I had to get three of them, man. Like, this pack was one of my favorite packs that Mattel's ever done, and to uh, get it for $20 a piece, you might as well grab all three of them. Uh, the Triple H and Jeff Hardy collections are just going insane right now. Uh, that's a ton of figures right there, man. Like, that makes so many Jeff Hardy and Triple H's now. I don't even want to look at it right now. But not only did we get that, guys, we also went ahead and grabbed the Titus O'Neil figure. Uh, I've been passing on this a lot. I didn't want to pay $22 for it, so I went ahead and got it for the $11 that they, that they were selling it for. Thought that was pretty nice right there. On top of the Titus O'Neil figure, we also grabbed the Ultimate Warrior. I figured, you know, I, this is not a figure that I had, and my Ultimate Warrior selection is actually pretty damn depressing, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't have a lot of Ultimate Warriors. Uh, Macho Man and Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan, all three of those guys are guys that I wish I had more of, but I just don't for whatever reason. And uh, a long time ago, like maybe 2018, I think like a year and a half into collecting, uh, I went through and I sold like every single legend that I had, man. I'm talking like every single single legend like Lex Luger, Elites, Andre the Giant, Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior. Like I went through and just wiped them out and now I kind of regret it. I think I used that money to buy some stuff at the pick fed, but still though, you know, you know, you, you never know. My God, what did I buy? Next up guys, we did get a Stone Cold Steve Austin from the same set. Um, you're probably thinking, oh, he probably at least knocked out the whole set right. You would actually be wrong because I bought three Austins. I bought three Austins. Why did I buy three Austins? Well, first of all, this is probably one of my favorite Elites. Uh, I love this head sculpt. I have a few Ultimate Editions. You guys can see right here, I have three Ultimate Edition Stone Colds on top of one or two loose. So uh, adding these two with the Royal Rumble vest, and it's just a great standard Stone Cold Elite that I really like. So I went ahead and grabbed the Stone Cold Elites uh, for more fix-ups and stuff like that. Uh, over there in Stone Cold section, it looks pretty damn good, but it could always be better. So we're going to go ahead and stick those right there. I didn't get Umaga because I already have the Umaga. I already have one of the Stone Colds. I, w I didn't have any of the Titus O'Neil. I didn't have any of the Ultimate Warrior, but I wanted to go ahead and grab the rest of the set that I did not have. And I didn't want to get the Umaga because the legs are kind of hard to pose and I couldn't think of anything to do with the other parts at the moment. I, I hope I don't end up regretting that, you know, a collector's regret. Maybe that would be a really good story time video series, do collector's regret, where we dive into uh, things I regret about collecting. That would be pretty cool. Let me know if you'd like that. But at the end of the day, man, this was probably the steal of the day. No, it's not. It's not the steal of the day. The steal of the day is definitely the two-pack, but you guys saw they had the fan take over Seth Rollins and they had them for $15 listed. So do you know what that means, Brad? That means that these were $7.50 a piece. So you already know what I did, Brad. We didn't buy one. We got two. We got three. And we got four. I grabbed four of the TakeOver Seth Rollins. The reason I grabbed four of them is because that's literally like $30 without tax. So I got four Seth Rollins Elites in package for $30. Uh, you can't beat that. And these are great bases for customs in the future. These are great bases for, you know, head sculpts and stuff stuff like that. Pretty sick of this head sculpt, but I figured this was a good spot to uh, get some more fodder and things like that. So this was a very successful haul, I would say. Uh, so in all, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 total figures, counting the two packs as two separate ones. So 14 figures. Do you want to know how much I paid for all 14 elites? The total for the 14 elites, not including the stuff that I bought for my son, that will be 150 $52. It was $152 and change with tax for 14 elites right here. So all these figures right here, insane, great day at the office. You love to see it where you can grab all those figures like that, man. That That's like one of the best things about collecting to me is when you can get those really good deals and you can get a lot for, you know, you can get a bunch of good figures for a really good price. Nothing's gonna beat that for me, man. So that that's really awesome. But yeah, I'd say it was a successful day, man. If you have a big lots close to you, go to the freaking big lots and go splurge, man. They have these two packs. They have the fan takeover a Elites. They have the Royal Rumble Elites. They have some uh, basics over there. None, none of the basics that I specifically needed, but these are, uh, this was a great day. And like, I, now I have, th so I got three of those mesh shirts from the Jeff Hardy 2-pack, and I got 
three of the Jeff Hardy jersey that you guys know that I love so much, and three of the red-haired head sculpt, three shirtless Jeffs. God in heaven, what a sp spectacular turn of events there, Brad. Not to mention all these John Cena's back here that you can't even see over my shoulder. Look at that. There's like eight Ultimate Edition John Cena's right there. Someone help me. I don't have any room for all of this stuff. Have you seen my shelves, Brad? Jesus in heaven. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up my Thanksgiving action figure toy hunt. Man, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of this haul. Did you guys cash in on any of the Big Lots deals? I had to cash in, man. Had to go hard and cash in on it. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know how you're spending your Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoy the holidays with your families. Count your blessings, man. Be thankful. Show gratitude. It's the best way to live. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like me when I bought four more Seth Rollins, even though I literally have on my shelf 83 Seth Rollins.